Go. <laughs> oh, now you fucked it up. <laughs> you got, oh. You got the email. I'm just gonna... <laughs> hey. Hey. Just enamored with yourself. It's technology. It's cool. Right. Read the email. Oh. <clears throat> Um, so, uh, this is the title of this email. Why don't you read it this time? I read it the last time. Hey guys, I love your music. I read online a lot that guitarists should learn theory. I've always played by ear and by tabs and just jamming around but never really learned theory. What are the basics I should learn on guitar theory? So check this out. <clears throat> um, an old... I'm a... A little computer science teacher of mine, she told me that like back in the day before computer science was a major and technology, it was IBM, was recruiting people from universities. They recruited math people, physics people, and musicians, which I was like, why? Because like, here's the thing about musicians, especially if you compose, music is all about patterns. It's all about pattern recognition. So is programming and a lot of technology, but it's all about pattern recognition. Theory, music theory, is really just names and labels and a deeper understanding of all these patterns that are in music. Like this, for instance, this is a minor, minor, minor scale. That's wrong. This is a minor scale, major scale. How do I know that? Did I come up with that? No, it's a pattern. Like, I mean, I learned that at some point. And like, uh, the diminished scale. Diminished scale. So these all have names, you saw a lot of patterns. But these things is, exist apart from music theory. They just give you labels and make it a little easier to understand. So if you can figure out these patterns and, and that will help you write the music that you want to write, apart from music theory, I mean, it's focus on the end. If the best way to learn these patterns is just by like jamming and figuring it out yourself, that's fine. If, if the best way is to you like to learn through books or like you like to learn through established methods, then use music theory or use both. It's it's you're trying to get to an end. If music theory is not the end goal. It's a means to understanding the patterns that are in music. And I'd like to add, I spend a lot of time on stage dodging this right here, and it's there's no theory behind this. This is all application <laughs> to the eye. It's not a theoretic. This is this is not this is particle <laughs> physics. Oh man, it's terrifying. Um, yeah, music theory. Go for it. <laughs>